We are following breaking news out of Donald Trump's hush money trial in Lower Manhattan. Former Trump aide Hope Hicks is now on the stand as the ninth witness called by the prosecution. Now, Hicks, you may remember, worked on the former president's 2016 campaign and in the Trump White House. NBC News correspondent Vaughn Hilliard joins us now from just outside the courthouse there. So, Vaughn, good to see you. So, Hicks actually stepped up to the mic. She said, I'm nervous. And then she told the court she hasn't actually spoken to the former president since the summer or fall of 2022. So, why did the prosecution call her? Why do they think she's such a strong witness? She's a crucial witness here because she was so intimately involved with Donald Trump before he even became a presidential candidate, joining the Trump Organization in 2014. But then she served in not only the campaign as press secretary in 2015 and 2016, but also then in the White House in 2017 and 2018. That time period that was so critical for the prosecution to prove their case that Donald Trump intentionally was reimbursing Michael Cohen to pay off Stormy Daniels. She is at the heart of what the prosecution hopes to show to the jury here that was not only a catch and kill scheme to silence the stories of individuals like Karen McDougal and Stormy Daniels as part of an August 2015 meeting at Trump Tower, but that also there in October of 2016, in the aftermath of the Axis Hollywood tapes release and during the, uh, the interval in which there were negotiations allegedly taking place to pay Stormy Daniels $130,000 to keep her from going public. There were phone calls that Hope Hicks was on with Michael Cohen as well as Donald Trump. Exactly what were those specifics of those phone calls? That's what prosecutors are hoping to get at the heart at with their questioning of Hope Hicks here this afternoon in front of the jury. You know, Vaughn, I think she's one of the most highly anticipated witnesses in this case because Hope Hicks was so close to the former president during that time period you just laid out. She was also very reticent. She didn't sp speak to the media often, which is why I think the prosecution thinks that she's going to be so credible. She doesn't have some of the other issues the previous witnesses have. Talk to us about her testimony in the context of this broader case against Trump. Right. Trump always viewed her as a very close confidant. She would return to the White House to work with him in 2020 and 2021. She was somebody that was not one of these press secretaries who was bombastic and would go out and lash out at the press on camera. She was somebody that was just always very close to him, trusted by him. And Donald Trump, over the last nine years, now almost a decade since the two of them began working with one another, he has never publicly attacked Hope Hicks. He is somebody who viewed her as truly a close confidant. And she, in her testimony, even so far, uh, described the inner workings of Trump's 2016 campaign as like a small family business in that everybody simply followed his direction. This is going to be a key witness here for this prosecution in this case. Absolutely. Before you go, Vaughn, how do you think the defense is going to try to discredit what she says on the stand? Ultimately, she talked with congressional investigators actually back in 2019, and she provided limited details about what she was actually aware of when it came to some of these alleged meetings and phone calls. And so for the cross-examination, they could potentially ask her about her past testimony under oath and then cross that with what she is saying here publicly today in what changed, if anything changed, or used to suggest that the, perhaps the prosecution is implying something that Hope Hicks never actually has testified to. All right, we'll be watching that closely. NBC News correspondent Vaughn Hilliard, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.